and to so many who no matter what we say can never be enough. I mean, they were your relatives. They were your husbands and wives and fathers and grandparents, but they were my mentors and my friends these past 25 years. And I think of their guidance, their love, and their support, and I wish they could be here so I could thank them again. Since Marilyn hates to speak publicly, <laughs> I get the last word here. So I can thank her for being, shh, for being, you don't talk, for being the rock of my life. If these 25 years have been pleasant and sweet together, it's because of her work, her support, her quiet behind the scenes efforts, her ear, her caring. We both thank Hashem for our three daughters, Avrahav and Zahava. No easy task to be rabbi's daughters. <laughs> but what has been easy is raising you all. And thank you for being wonderful children. Now, rabbi is not a priest and he's not a minister. Rabbi, as you probably know, rub means teacher. Rabbi means my teacher. And it's very ironic that all I can think of right now is how much you have all taught us, and me in particular, and how much I've continued to learn these past 25 years. From my dear friends at Temple Israel and to my newest colleague, Rabbi Cohn, I've learned that Judaism is not just a religion, it's a people, stronger only when united in friendship. I've learned through you that Judaism is best seen through the prism not of temple and synagogue, but community. May we continue to go from strength to strength. From my longtime friend, Monsignor Sadie, my brother, Imam Haq, who could not be here, I wish him a speedy recovery, a refuah shalema. People like Hazel Crowley, who helped form the root and the branch, and all the followers of faith who have dialogued and studied with me, I've learned that we grow together as children of God when we walk with other followers of that same path. Studying with you in Charleston has taught me that reaching out to faith traditions not only enriches our teachings, but touch our hearts and our souls. From Congressman Ray Hall, who honors me greatly with his presence, and Senator Manchin, who was with us this morning, and my good friend Josh Karsh of APAC, I'm learning that politics is about having a conversation, and how by reaching out to one another is the real way to channel passion and by understanding, we deepen our knowledge and we learn to become a positive voice for Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel, that we need to be as Jews. For those who have traveled back to Charleston to be with us, I continue to learn and appreciate why we love West Virginia so much. What was the favorite slide of everybody? Country Road, right? This is a magical place. We are so connected to each other, and Take Me, Ro Take Me Home Country Roads is not a song, but for me, it's a declaration of faith now. This is such a tight-knit community, and you being here reaffirms that. And to paraphrase the Machser, the High Holiday Prayer Book, we are an Agudat Achat, one community, whether we all live in Charleston or whether we visit frequently. And from you all, B'nai Jacob Synagogue, this incredible, incredible congregation. I have learned so much. I came not as a rabbi, but at the age of 24 years old, and Marilyn, was that 23? No. 22? Yeah. 21? 21 actually. Please stop there. <laughs> but I came not as a, a rabbi, but a student, with not a clue, not a clue what it means to be a pulpit rabbi. And with each day, you have patiently guided me, put your trust in me, supported me. You've allowed me to grow as a rabbi and as a person by exaggerating my good qualities, minimizing my faults, and always encouraging me to be a, a good rabbi. And after 25 years, I am not there yet, but I'm closer than I was yesterday. So thank you all for this wonderful weekend. But most of all, thank you for these past 25 years. May God watch over all of us, be with us in good health for not only next year, but the next 25. Thank you very much.
loco.